Okay, so it is like 11.30 p.m. at night and my waters have just broken. Oh my goodness. So I am currently 38 weeks and five days. So it's a little bit early, but not too early. I am, this is what I was wearing and literally I stood up and water gushed out of me. Um, so I'm pretty sure it's definitely my waters. Slightly terrifying, but I guess here we go. Time to give birth. We called the hospital and they said, you need to come in because we need to check the baby and the waters and everything like that. Um, so we are just now grabbing our last bits. Thankfully, I literally finished packing my hospital bag literally yesterday. We are just, Joey's just running around grabbing his bits and then we're going to the hospital. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this might be it, like inappropriate, but while I'm not in too much pain, I'm just quickly gonna curl my hair. <laughs> <laughs> because I mean, I don't know, I don't wanna look horrible. I'm saying, Annabelle, we need to leave. <laughs> Joey's like, we need to leave. And I'm like, yeah. I mean, five minutes isn't gonna harm us, right? Right, we're gonna I go. just quickly do, do my hair, Love touch you myself leave up. You. Bye. <laughs> okay, yeah, so we have got all of our bags packed in the car. <laughs> Joey's a little bit frantic. Here we go. go. Here we go. We are driving to the hospital. I'm getting contractions. A little bit painful, not unbearable at the moment. Um, but they're at the moment I'm counting and the last one was four minutes ago. So they're four minutes apart. We're going to the hospital. We have just pulled up at the hospital and they have bought like a little trolley so we can put all of our stuff on, which we need because we've got too much stuff. <sighs> Try not to be sick. <laughs> just having monitoring, monitoring the baby. They said it's only one, the waters have gone, it's only one centimetre. One so we're just finding out what's going on. And it needs to be ten. We know that. <sighs> and they oh, that's a bad sign. They said one, one centimetre every two hours. Mm, so it could be another 18 hours, which I mean, I think, I think that's pretty normal. Most yeah. people, you know what I mean? No one usually is like, oh, yeah. five hours and I have yeah. a baby. But that's what I was thinking, right? If we, if we go home and that's like nine hours gone. And then well, I won't be able to, if I lasted that. Yeah. Well, yeah, exactly. That's what I mean, that's the what I mean. pain. You're on, darling. Okay, so um, oh, I'm having contractions. <laughs> oh, actually, I'm like, my tummy's going all hard. Um, <laughs> we have come into our room so we are now officially <laughs> there's so much pain now in our delivery room now we're admitted into hospital we're here we're having the baby um, this is the room that we're gonna have the baby in oh and we've got we've got the pool one you might see me in the bath in a little <laughs> while later it's 20 oh. past two it is 20 past two in the morning love that um, so they're going to give me like a little painkiller to hope that it takes the edge off and I can like go to sleep for a little bit. Yeah. How do you feel? Uh, excited. Do you? Nervous. Do you feel nervous? A little bit, but it's yeah. fine. Just natural, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Okay, see you in a bit. Love you. I'm happy to see. I'm just having a painkiller and then we're going to try and get a little bit of rest because I'm going to have to push a baby out um, and it's... Three in the morning. Here's Joey's bed set up, and here's my bed. Um, and then hopefully I'll see you in the morning to have a baby. Oh, hello vlog. It is now 9 a.m. Um, I am getting contractions probably every like, strong contractions probably every eight minutes or something. Mm -hmm. And they are very painful. They are very painful. I'm trying to like squeeze a comb, do my breathing, um, but when it comes, it's very painful. I'll try and capture it for you if I can. The midwife that we've got is so nice. She's really, really sweet. I have had sickness, anti-sickness injection because I still feel sick, even in the labor. We love that. Oh, contractions coming. So we are currently just under two centimeters dilated. We're like, okay, come on, get it moving. They said the cervix is completely paper thin, which means it's going in the right direction. It starts like thick and it's already, it's paper thin now. Um, so hopefully it's good. Hopefully it's gonna move along. 
and then babies engaged. Every single person that does an examination is like, oh my god, the head's so low. So maybe we'll get going more and soon we'll have a baby. I am currently bouncing on my ball and I am watching Housewives, just trying to keep it chill, um, keep getting my contractions, <sighs> but trying to keep moving. Oh dear. Oh yeah, <laughs> probably made it cold. <laughs> break not mm -hmm. just like start having pains and you're thinking is this it yeah um but then i didn't really think about the fact that then you kind of start on a countdown a bit of a clock yeah yeah because some people their waters are still not even broken have they at this point like they're yeah. just yeah they're just, just having the pain mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. some people's waters don't break until the last minute so the baby's born uh, in what we call m -cal, so it's in the sack what? It's like a mermaid baby. Yeah. <laughs> so very, very rare. Told us to go on like a walk to get things going more. So we're out on a walk. Round about. Doing laps of the hospital. <laughs> on the stairs and all that. I was sorts. like, how ridiculous would it be if we saw somebody that we know? And me and Joey just, I'm not a drama. And then Annabelle. stopping every two minutes, like, yeah. uh, she's off. Okay, look at that. His feet go. Now, darling, hopefully. How do you know? I just feel like it's going to come today, do you know? I uh, don't know. Good. Good, do. Good, we'll see. <laughs> yeah. Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> bye, bye. 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 That is Miles. She's a midwife and she's so nice. She's so sweet. She's so sweet. Okay, I'm doing attraction. Are you? Which in your case probably isn't great with Howard. I'll, I'll probably vomit straight into the chair. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put her back there. So I'll just lower the bed back. Oh, okay. I feel like I need to move my bum a bit. A few practice breaths. See how it feels for you. Do it now? Yeah. So a big breath in. So really go for it. It makes it funny noise, but that means it's working properly. Yeah. And then pull it back through the tube. Big breath in again. Amazing. Few more breaths, you might start to feel effects. Well done. I'm not doing it too hard. <laughs> feel a bit different? Yeah, I feel now I feel like all that. A bit spaced out, yeah. <laughs> what your voice was going to be like, you know, when you have a helium balloon. It is a little bit. It is a little, a little bit. bit. Yeah, it is a little bit. Yeah, I feel like weird and my lips feel a little bit tingly and I feel a bit like, whoa. <laughs> whoa. God, and people do take this, like, for our ages. When you're in labour, yeah. <laughs> so it's 50% nitrous. Yeah, so it's 50% nitrous oxide and 50% oxygen. So that's why you can breathe through it as well, because, you know, you're getting oxygen. Very strong. Yeah. Come for a walk. And they say it's time to go on the stairs. So we're on the stairs. <laughs> <sighs> How are we doing, darling? <laughs> Hello, so I look progressively worse and I'm feeling progressively worse. <laughs> um, so unfortunately, we have been here like 18 so hours or something. I think it's yeah, been 18, 18 hours. hours yeah. And we're still only at like two centimetres and it's going slowly. I've had to have an antibiotic strip because my waters broke ages ago. And if by like midnight we're not moved any further, then I'm going to start the hormone drip to like really get it going. I've heard that the hormone drip can be like really, really painful. Um, so a lot of people say like you might want an epidural when you're gonna have that hormone drip. So I guess we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, I've been having contractions, but they're just not as qu as often as they want them to be. So at the moment, all the pain seems like it's for nothing, but my food's here. 
I had lunch and then I threw up my lunch. Um, so yeah, I was sick, unfortunately. And so now I'm gonna wait and have an anti-sickness medicine before I try and eat my dinner. Because if I throw that up as well, we're not gonna make it. But yeah, so we'll do that and then hopefully get some rest. I've just been crying. Yes, you have, darling. <laughs> so much pain. So much pain. So you're doing amazing. Yeah. You're doing so well, I don't know how you're doing it. We're just checking if the baby's heart rate's going down when I have a contraction. <clears throat> so far it's good. And I'm squeezing this cone. I'm being sick. Yes. <laughs> that is the problem, that on top of everything, you're just being sick yeah. constantly. So, oh, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna get the walking epidural before we get the hormone drug. We are, so I'm gonna take it as well. <laughs> yeah, Joey's doing it. Going. Going. Getting ready for the big moment. Uh, Touch ups. I mean, somebody knows. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, guys. So, we are probably about half an hour to 40, yeah, 30 to 45 minutes away from pushing. from pushing. I was doing really well, amazingly well. We thought we were going to go just about now, but they said they just want to wait a couple of more. Uh, minutes for it to just go down a couple of notches but yeah. it's perfectly engaged isn't it it's ready it's to engaged, work. ready to go but about 30 minutes and we're going to try and push this baby out <laughs> i'm so bad but we're going to do it you are going to have some chocolate buttons and some sweets and then get going mm. six five four two one now like the contractions like you know very strong you're pushing Well done, Danny. Well done, Danny. 2.49490. What does that mean? 